Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial video where we will guide you through our employee stock ownership plan ESOP software, a powerful tool to manage your ESOPs with ease. The link of this portal will be shared with everyone via email. Once you click on the link, you will come to the login page. Your first login credentials will be shared with you after your first login. You can change the password for your account security purposes. After you log in, here's the dashboard. It provides a quick summary of your ESOPs, performance, essential metrics and recent activities. For those employees who do not have access to smartphones or computers, you can get in touch with the HR of your respective locations who will be helping out all the employees eligible for this benefit. For this purpose, please do not share the password with the HR person but instead type it in yourself. A few important metrics include grants, vesting, vesting period, exercise, exercise period, exercise price, exercisable, lapsed or cancelled, unvested. You can find the definitions of these metrics on the screen. When you click on the three dots on the right hand side of the dashboard, you will get access to the closing date, average market price, your profile details as well as logout option. When you click on view profile, you can check your basic account details and can edit the details by clicking on this button. Here you can fill in your basic details for example name etc. Everything marked with an asterisk is mandatory to fill in. The rest of the details you can choose to fill in according to your preference. On entering your DMAT account details, make sure your name matches as per your DMAT account data as the system will not accept your details. Here you can add your joint holder details as well as add nominees details. This is mandatory for every employee in any case. You will need to add your documents like PAN card and DMAT account details before you can exercise your ESOPs. ESOPs exercised without PAN and DMAT details will not be processed further. For those employees who do not have a DMAT account yet, the HR department will assist you in opening the same. For this, you will need your basic bank details and other documents for example PAN, Aadhaar etc. Going further, you can then click on Granted wherein you will be able to view full details of your ESOPs like for example Grant Date, Options Granted, Options Wasted, Exercise Price. For employees having time and performance based options, your options wasted in a year will be bifurcated in two parts. That is P1 which are performance based options and T1 which are time based options. You can exercise your performance based options after the completion of your annual performance review which is in the month of April or May of any given financial year. For time based options and for employees only having time based options, they can straight away exercise their time based options as per their vesting cycle. For exercising your options, click on the plus sign at your right hand side above on the screen and scroll the table on your right side of the screen. Enter the quantity you want to exercise, that is minimum 1 and maximum the number of options you are eligible to exercise. Please note. The system will not accept a number more than the number of options you are eligible to exercise. For example, if you are eligible to exercise 162 options, you cannot exercise options more than 162 and less than 1. For employees who have been granted additional 1500 options as longevity bonus, you will be able to see one more table below wherein you can exercise these 1500 options in year 1 itself without any restrictions. Please note all options wasted in any year will be eligible to be exercised for a further period of 3 years. For example, options wasted on 26 December 2023 can be exercised at any given time till 25 December 2026. After entering details of the number of options you wish to exercise, the last column in the table which is amount payable will reflect the amount you will have to pay to the ESOP trust bank account. For example, if you exercise 162 options, you will have to pay Rs. 648 to ESOP trust 
बैंक अकाउंट दैट इज वन सिक्सटी टू इंटू फोर रुपीज पर ऑप्शन स्क्रोल बिलो एंड सेव द ड्राफ्ट देन क्लिक ऑन एंटर पेमेंट डिटेल्स प्लीज सिलेक्ट प्रॉपर डी मैट अकाउंट डिटेल्स सिंस योर ई सॉप्स विल डिरेक्टली बी क्रेडिटेड इन दिस डी मैट अकाउंट हियर अ पेमेंट लिंक विल बी इंटीग्रेटेड वेर इन इट विल हेल्प यू मेक पेमेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली डिरेक्टली इन द ई सॉप ट्रस्ट बैंक अकाउंट द एक्सरसाइज पीरियड फॉर ई सॉप विल ओपन फ्रॉम नाइन थर्टी ए एम ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ एवरी मंथ टिल एट पी एम ऑफ द टेंथ ऑफ नेक्स्ट मंथ आफ्टर विच एक्सरसाइज विंडो विल बी क्लोज टिल ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर मंथ प्लीज नोट दैट द टी डी एस बेनिफिट ऑन योर एक्सरसाइज ई सॉप्स विल बी डिरेक्टली डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम योर सैलरी फॉर दैट मंथ इन अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ टू ट्रांचेस इफ द टी डी एस अमाउंट एक्सीड्स योर सैलरी अमाउंट देन द एच आर डिपार्टमेंट विल गेट इन टच विथ यू सो एन एमिकेबल सोल्यूशन कैन बी वर्कड आउट फॉर बोथ द कंपनी एंड द एम्प्लॉय कमिंग बैक टू द होम पेज यू विल बी एबल टू डाउनलोड एल एम एल ई सॉप पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एप्लीकेबल टू योर ग्रांड बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द टैब डॉक्यूमेंट्स स्लैश व्यू ऑन द होम पेज यू विल ऑल्सो बी एबल टू सी अपकमिंग वेस्ट इन थर्टी डेज एज वेल एज एक्सपायरी ऑफ ऑप्शन इन थर्टी डेज ऑन द होम पेज ऑन द राइट साइड यू विल सी अ टैब कॉल्ड मेल बॉक्स वेर इन यू कैन सी एनी कम्युनिकेशन रिगार्डिंग ई सॉप्स अनाउंसमेंट बाय द कंपनी You will also receive an email prompt on any options being due for lapse 30 days before. The company post conducting a training session at the respective locations will also be deploying services of a DMAT agency wherein employees who wish to open their DMAT accounts can avail the said services. This is a completely voluntarily process. Employees can however use any DMAT account of their choice. In case of any queries on ESOP policy and grants employee can mark an email to esop@redloyds.in and in case of any queries on the software part or any difficulty or assistance on the software employees can contact on the below mentioned details on your screen and for any emergency of course the hr department will always be at your service thank you